Right now, cars are selling for crazy money. So if you've thought to yourself, hey, this might be a good time to sell my car, well, stay tuned because we're going to show you how you can get every dime and penny, or in Australia, five cents, for your car and maximize how much you're going to get for it. So today we are selling our SS Commodore that we recently picked up for our Lemon to Lambo challenge. Um, we've been doing this now for a year and a half. Uh, I think less, but almost. Almost a year and a half. Uh, but we've also sold cars in our, our personal cars and that. So we know a thing or two on how to sell cars, probably not as much as some other people watching it. But there are common things that we see with people selling their car online. Um, which really all they're doing is hampering themselves. They're not getting top dollar for it because they're not putting as much effort in or just a few things here and there that can uh, definitely increase the value of the car. So today, what are we doing? Um, a full interior clean. Um, so our Commodore at the moment has a little bit of a smell. It's a little bit uh, musky, would you say? Yeah. It's, it's an old car, it has its own smell. So we're getting rid of the smell completely. Uh, one of the best things you can do to increase the value of your car is your headlights. A lot of older cars have yellowed and hazed headlights. So we'll be doing a full headlight restoration on our Commodore and... I'll just wash it. Yeah, yeah a, a nice wash and um, service. If your car's recently serviced, it'll... One, it might not bring more people, but people will be less uh, worried hmm. that something could potentially be wrong with the car just because the car's recently been serviced, it's good to go. So sit back, relax, and we'll show you exactly how to make more money when selling your car. All right, so first things first, what we're gonna do is tackle these headlights. Uh, these are crazy yellow, crazy hazed. Um, so all we're going to do is give them a good um, headlight restoration. Um, now we've already done the one on the passenger side and that's because we've got a new piece of kit. We've got a um, kind of like a drill attachment uh, to make it a lot easier and a lot quicker. So we thought we'd just do that before we um, go ahead and tell you how to do it just to make sure we're not full of shit. Um, and as you can see, the difference is night and day. So we're going to go ahead and fix this headlight. All right, so if you haven't seen us, uh, or haven't seen the video we did on how to restore your headlights, um, basically all we're doing is we're starting off with a uh, quite um, heavy grit of sandpaper, heavy for headlights. So we'll probably start off with around about 240 grit, maybe is the lowest we'll go. And we'll slowly work our way up with these different discs. Um, so basically we're just taking small and smaller layers off the top to give it a nice even finish. We'll then switch to our um, compounding pad. So this is just kind of like the final step to bring the light back and then hit it with a polisher. Um, so basically, yeah, that's all we have to do. Hopefully the uh, lights turn out good. So we're also going to give the interior just a little bit of a, a clean because it is pretty uh, nasty, um, especially the seats. So we've got a just a upholstery cleaner we got from just Woolworths. I mean, you hire it out for like a day. It's a really good idea and really cheap. Um, so we're just going to do that to the seats. We'll do it on the carpet and hopefully we can get a bit of the stains out and uh, yeah, give them some more life.
Okay, so this Commodore does have pretty weird smells coming from this. So uh, besides us cleaning the uh, the seats with just the um, shampooing um, kind of vacuum machine, we're getting rid of all the air fresheners because there's like so many. And I've just gone around the car and picked up five air fresheners. There's two big trees. They smell the same. They're actually not too bad. It's this one, cotton candy. This is the weird smell, I reckon. It's oh yeah, I don't like that one. And then these, yeah, leopards or whatever you call them. Yeah, they're pretty weird again. They're all actually very different smells, which I think is why there's a pretty just yeah, a very odd smell. Sorry, those six air fresheners. What is this? Oh, look at that. Is that an air freshener? Oh, it is. It's meant to be vanilla. So we got vanilla. We have, what would you say this? I don't even know what smell that is. We have four different flavors in this car that I've found. Is there any more? I feel like we're gonna find more because it's just, yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, so we're gonna aerate the car first, get rid of all the air fresheners. We've got our own air freshener bomb, which you throw in the car. Um, you crank the uh, AC and uh, wind up all the windows and you just let the thing off and it psh, goes everywhere, goes in through all the vents and stuff like that. Makes this car smell nice and we'll hopefully just have one good smell. So um, as you can probably tell, we went through shampooing the seats. We got rid of all the air fresheners, gave the car a good clean inside and out. And one of the big reasons for that is this car smells. So what we've got to do uh, today is that if your car is, you buy a car, it smells, you just can never get rid of the smell. Have a go at one of these things. Now, we're not sponsored by Meguiar's, um, but every time I've used this, it seems to have worked. So I'm happy to let you guys know. So basically what this does is it's pretty much a, uh, how would you say more, a deodorant bomb? Yes, yeah, so basically once you pierce it, it's just gonna spray like crazy and pretty much fumigate this entire cabin. Now while you're doing this, you need to have your aircon on full um, and you'll pretty much let the car sit for about 10 minutes running with this thing circulating through. And the whole idea is that it coats everything that it touches, but it also gets into your air vents, it gets into your air filters for the other uh, cabin filters, um, just to try and get rid of any smell. Now, I've never had a car so far, touch wood, where um, this doesn't get rid of the smell. So we've cleaned it, we've vacuumed it, we've shampooed it, Final step, if this doesn't get rid of the smell, we probably should burn it because it's not terrible, it's just not nice. So, without further ado, um, here it is here. Pop the cap off. Uh, we've taken everything out of the car, um, pretty much that would be destroyed by this. Masks, make sure you don't leave a mask in or something. Uh, basically, what I'm gonna do is pierce this, put it in the back just behind the center console here, where, um, well, sorry, before I do this, we're gonna start the car, turn the aircon on, pierce this, put it in the back, shut the door, uh, shut the doors on the car, and then in about 10 minutes time, we can turn the car off, pop the windows down, let it air out for about 15 minutes or so, and then this, all the smells should be gone. So, do you have the keys, Morgan? All right, we're on. We will turn the fans on. Yeah, probably not gonna be able to hear me, but basically as I've just blown it into my eyeballs, um, we've turned the fans on. Now I'm gonna pierce this and wait about 10 minutes. So, actually I'll do it in front of you guys. Get out, get out. Oh no, my keys. Ugh. So one of the biggest letdowns of this interior, apart from the seats, is uh, this shift boot. It is really old, really manky, um, and for 60 bucks, we get a brand new one. So we thought we'd grab this one and pop it in, and uh, hopefully it just makes the uh, cabin just look that much nicer. <laughs>
another easy job today. I am replacing the air filter while we're waiting for the oil uh, to drain. Uh, it's always a good thing. Um, you never really know. You can pop this off and check the condition of it. But it's a good, simple, easy mod and just make sure that your engine's getting some nice, clean air. <music> So we've washed the Commodore with spruce. Squeaky clean. Yeah, squeaky clean. We've spruced up the headlights a bit. Um, we attempted the interior, but to be honest, the yeah. the copper cleaning machine didn't do as well I as think we hoped. That's not so much the car. I think it's more so the copper cleaning machine. It's mm. just a generic one made for your house. Yeah, like it does have an upholstery attachment. Yeah, and I think as well though, I was expecting wonders, and then really, yeah, the seats are a little bit faded. So really, wasn't going to do anything. It's not going to do yeah. that much. Um, but the shift boot, mm. that was one thing that was really bringing down the interior. Just that one simple little change has made the car look really good condition. Yeah. yeah. Just that one simple change is something that you'll, you barely touch, but you'll glance at, you'll see it, and it just ruins the whole experience of sitting in the car. So now that's all sweet. Yeah. So I think just little things like that when you're yeah. going to go sell a car, just little things like the shift boot, mm. um, and even just giving it a bit of a clean, and you know, we put yeah. some air fresheners, did the, the bomb. Good photos. Good photos. That is a big one. That's one yeah. thing we haven't done so far in the video, but good photos show your imperfections. Mm. Because when you show your imperfections, one, you're coming across as genuine mm. because you're saying, hey, look, this is all the things wrong with it. Um, mm. And two, anyone that looks at the car has already seen the imperfections. Yeah, so there's... they're not wasting your time, you're not wasting their time. Yeah. There's no surprises. Because you, you hate when they come and look at the car and they're like, oh, you didn't. You know, yeah. didn't say this was that or you know like yeah so good photos um service it took us for half an hour if that yeah like just oil filter sweet air filter um Holy as you can see what the amount of oil oh yeah yeah this Jeez. car has a lot of oil yeah nearly maxed out our pan which we've never come close no no it's 10 liters i think right yeah it's near 10, on 10 liters. liters i think this was 8.8 .8. Thing. so it was nearly there but so full service um, as you can see we didn't put the car up on our uh, hoist we just used a four jack trolley jack uh, make sure you use jack stands uh, we don't want the car coming down on you but yeah real simple easy stuff takes 30 minutes like all up probably what two hours mm. Probably two hours because we're filming it does take a little bit longer but around about two hours work and I think we've taken this car from I don't know whatever it was before, at least we've added a grand, two grand value to it. Just by spending two hours of work, a little bit of money, it didn't cost much. The cleaning supplies, the shift boot, and the service probably all in like 200, 250 bucks. Yeah. And at the end of the day, you're getting a good amount of money out of it. Um, so if you have any questions on how to sell your car, if you've got a car that's not selling, hit us up. We like buying cars. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button if this was helpful. Uh, if you enjoy this video, make sure you like it. It helps us out in the YouTube algorithms. And uh, most importantly, comment below if you're in the market for an SS Commodore that is sold by us. Hmm. But without any further ado, we'll see you in the next Project B video. Let it get through the